G'day everyone, how's it going? So I was running a little bit late, oh, it's only because I'm trying to get the audio working as always and this monitor is massive as you can see, it's pretty much nearly the size of my desk here that I'm normally working at. So I'm going to run off my Dell speakerphone just so we can get the microphone going because the lapel mic was not having working with me at the moment. So we're going to just get this going. Now as you can see this is a big, big monitor. This is a 49 inch monitor from Acer. Thank you very much for Acer for sending this for me to have a look at. Now, this is a VA monitor, and as you can see, it's, it's 49 inches. It does have a refresh rate of 120 hertz. So I would consider this, you would call this like a gaming monitor as well. So let's get on to the unboxing. Let's have a look at how big it is. Uh, I'm going to be in and out of trying to get this thing boxed for it, because this is going to be it's probably the largest monitor I've actually had in this studio. So let me go grab the knife and let's see if I can do the rip of this thing. Okay, let's go for each side. So I'm just gonna go with my left hand here. Oh, that side's done already. Thank you very much. That one's good. And let's just get this one going through here. So I'm gonna be as careful as I can. This is a big slip here. We'll be doing two, two down because I have absolutely no idea how far it goes. So there we go. Let's put this knife away. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to work out how to how to get this monitor out. Okay. Now this monitor. Oh, right, I would normally put this on the floor and flip it around, but because I'm not on the floor and this is on the table here. I'm going to try and work this thing out. So we have a bit of foam. Uh, I'm going to try and spin this box around. Now I'm going to hopefully this doesn't actually drop in different ways. Uh, this monitor has a very high resolution as well too. It's a D or a quad HD. I think the resolution is like 5120 by 1440. Uh, for the resolution. Look. Oh, there we go. Let's, see what All right, let's just try and unpack this part here. Ooh. I don't want to really want this thing to fall. Oh. Give me a second, let me try and get this thing back. Whoa, it is big. Like I said, this is normally done on the, on the wall. Oh. Okay, it's going to stay one piece of that boy. Okay, good stuff. Let's just move this out of the way. That's a big box. Oh. All right, I can see where the side, the, which side is coming from. So I'm just going to move this thing out so I can tip the thing over. This is the back end of it. Front end's actually on this side. Ooh. Okay, here we go. All right, what have we got? Just to show you oh, what's on the front end. So it's kind of how they pack it up. A uh, few, few shavers from that side here. So. Let's just find you around here. Okay. First off, let's just get through what fell off. All right, we've got some documentation, but along with documentation is something else. Now, this is a remote. Interesting. Comes with a remote. How cool is that? There's a power button. Uh, let's just sort of bring that out so you can have a look what this thing has got. So, I'm just trying to bring it to light. We've got power button source, so you can change different sources. Uh, you got the joystick here or keypad and HDR mode. I don't know, I think that's return, gaming mode, and then the volume keys. How oh, sweet's that? Never had a monitor that actually has a remote button. That's cool. That's really sweet. I like that. You can use it as a TV. Nice. I'm just put that up on the side. Uh, we've got documentation. We don't need that. Cut that to the side. All right, we've got some cables here. What, what cables have we got in this thing here? Let's have a look. All right. Okay, we've got some screws. Uh, let me get through the cables first. Uh, we've got HDMI cable. That's a full HDMI cable. You your standard left here. I'll pop this on the side. And then we've got a full size display port cable. Put that on the side. And now the in here with some screws. Now we've got interesting four screws. So two are longer. I'm going to bring this thing to you guys to have a look at because this this monitor 
is visa mount compatible so i'm thinking this, this could be what that's used for uh so we've got two of these now these also are female on the other side as well too so i've got male screws on that side and then we've got shorter ones as well too so let me just cut this down so a longer one and a shorter one i'm going to find, figure out where this goes uh this I'm, I'm like i said i'm thinking this could be for the visa mount but we never know we'll pop this on the side and then we've got one screw one big screw pop up on the side don't know what it's for yet we'll figure that out later on all right that's what and that one there um uh, now we've got the base here we go oh that's a big base i'm going to try to put this on a monitor stand well i'll put it on this monitor stand but i'm going to try and put it on a uh, monitor arm now that's that's made of metal oh yeah that's that's made of good metal there and we'll just pop that in front but then we've got the oh now this is again we'll just take and wrap this thing first whoop let me get this thing on this side here that's plastic up there uh inside's hard metal of course that's going to take the weight of this now i think this weight of this monitor is around about 25 kilos or so it could be about 20 to about 22 uh because i was quoted about 25 so i don't know if that includes packaging or not uh, and we've got quite a bit of sturdiness for this. All right, we're going to put this. Uh, how does this come in through? Let's have a look how this comes through. Oh, you got to take the screws off from this to then chuck it in. Okay, let me go grab a screwdriver. Uh, okay, we've got to unscrew these three screws. There are three screws on the bottom. So that's probably where that extra screw came from. It's a spare screw because that looks the same sort of uh, thickness of it as well. So I'm gonna just try and well, I'm gonna just do it up here so I don't lose these screws in in this place. But I want to at least get the stand going because it's gonna be big. Yeah, this is the same screw that came as in that little container or a little package. That's a spare screw in case you lose a screw. And now what I'm talking, I'll bring the sink to you so you can actually look at what I'm unscrewing. Yeah, and then I'll show you where that kind of goes. All right, let me do that. So there are three screws there are three screws so there's one of them uh, i've just unscrewed the other two now this one here is where you're going to put it and then of course you chuck this in and then screw it from the bottom in all right well, let me just do the last screw whoops sorry about that noise there so that just shows you that is metal i'm just going to put this on the side so i can pick it easy for that maybe i should have used my drill for this all right let's get through this Okay, let me try and pop this in. So we'll just pop this in. Yeah, I better pop this on this side here. And let me grab a screw. Whoop. And we'll just screw this in. Shouldn't take too long, sorry. All right, let's just screw this in. Here we go. One last song. Where's the last screw? There it is. Okay. Now I can see there are rubber bits on the bottom, stop it from moving. So it has good friction to the table surface. All right, let's chuck this around right here. I'm going to move that to the side. And that's pretty much all there is on this side. All right, now I'm going to move this oh, out of the way. And as always, we're going to have to do this backwards. So this is the back of the, of, of the sink. Okay, let me try and not break this thing. All right. I want to see if I can get, oh, here we go. I can at least take that off, which is the port cover. All right, now I'm going to just tip this a little around and try and bring this thing up so you can see the port. Ah, oh, I didn't like it. All right, I'll just bring the monitor. I'll just bring the camera with me here so you guys can have a look at it anyway. So, what do we got here? So we can have a look at what we got. So it's good to see your normal three prong power. So that means the, there's no extra power adapter for it. Excellent, excellent. Uh, that's the service one. So I'm thinking this is where you're actually able to do your firmware updates or whatever it is. Um, I would exp I thought that would have been um, USB type B for USB hub, but you may not have to have a USB hub on this, but we'll find out. 
uh, HMI 2, HMI, so two HMI ports and two display ports and audio out. All right, now, uh, is there any, I'm going to have to bring this in across now. I'm just going to put those back over here. And well, let me just try and bring you guys here. So it's a webcam that's not really designed for this thing, but that's right, we'll get this thing through. And as always, pop this thing through this way here. So jam it in this way here. All right, you'll hear the click. You heard, hopefully, you hear the click there. Now I'm going to try and bring this monitor up. Oh, okay. Let me just put this around. I'll swirl this around. Let me move this out of the way. Oh, it's large in this thing. The package you start to get off. All right, let me sort of move this around. Okay, here we go. Oof. Oof, the days. That's a big one. Now I'm currently using dual 34-inch monitors. I'm enjoying it. Um, so this is going to be even bigger than that, but we'll find out how that is. So I can tell you this experience of how it feels from going from two 34-inch monitors to a single 49-inch. Uh, so that's why I want to have a see how that goes anyway. All right, let's have a look at this. All right. What have we got? Oh, here we go. We'll just take this thing off. We don't need that. All right, I'm just going to see if there's any extra USB hubs at this on the ports on the sides. No, nope. and I see any more from the bottom. Nope, there is no ones there at all. Nope, uh, what's that? No, nothing there. All right, so that's all the ports there is. All right, but what I'm going to do is so we've got a bit of tilt. I think this is just the standard tilt that you'll see. Now, I'm not expecting this to be able to tilt to the left from right. No, you can't do that. And that's something I wasn't expecting to do because it's so large. We've got quite a bit of a curve, but I'm going to go to that. Now, does this able to adjust height? You can adjust the height. So it can go down and high up. But I'm going to go grab the measuring tape. Uh, and we'll have a look. I've got some people joining me. How are you guys going? I was just having to see who is guys. It's a beast of monitor. It is. You're using a 29. This is quite a large. And a portrait mode. That's nice to see. I've started trying to use a portrait mode for a little bit of time, but I couldn't get used to it. Um, so I went back to uh, to landscape. But I do know portrait is good for reading emails as well, websites as well too. Uh, but I actually have uh, 32, 34s at the moment. So I'm giving that a go anyway. So nice to see you. Thanks for for joining me. So let's have a look. All right, let's have a look at what this thing is. So now at its lowest point, it is, I would say they're about 45, 45 centimeters at its lowest point. And let's bring this up high as the highest point. We can go. All right. Now, the highest point would say 54, 54 centimeters. So 45 and 54 centimeters will give you the height of this um, stand. Now, to have a look at, I'm just going to move this across here. Yeah? To have a look at, can I do, yeah, you can do swivel. So a bit of swivel here, um, which is good to see. And now to see the curvature, I'm going to see if I can bring this, just to show you the curvature of this monitor here. And hopefully this will be giving a bit of idea. So that, that is, hopefully that will be perpendicular to you guys. So that gives you a bit of idea of the curvature of this monitor. So. This hopefully, I'm just going to quickly move this around so you can kind of see the curvature of this monitor. Now, I am going to put a computer to this. So give me a second. Let me go grab a computer. Ugh. I'll open up. Now, I'm going to grab, I'm currently running off this other monitor at the moment. But I don't know. This actually, no, this computer should be able to drive this big monitor. I'm just going to put a USB to Sorry, the display port cable here first. So let me just undo these and I'll go grab power as well too. It's good to see you don't have that power adapter. I don't like monitors with power adapter because if that power adapter dies, you're going to try and find and replace that power adapter. Uh, or if you're moving it around, you just either lose it and they're not easy to find as well too. So let me go put this into display port. Ugh. Hopefully I've got it yet plugged in. I'm going to grab power. Right here, so we've got power. All right, 
Let me just plug in the power here. Now, here's the interesting thing. I want to try and find where the menu system is. Uh, let me try. All right. I'm going to bring in a computer. Now, this one is, uh, this is the Zeus ROG Z13. I'll have this up in review soon, anyway. Um, and this does have a GeForce RTX 3050 uh, graphics on there. So this does run off USB type C. So I'm going to have to get an adapter for this. And where's that monitor? Here it is. All right. Oops, not that cable there. I'm going to bring this cable here. And display port through here. Awesome. Now, how do we turn this thing on? I'm going to try and find the power button. So I didn't see the power button. So maybe it's on the front. That's a good question. Where is the power button? Maybe I have to read the manual here. Do I see any power? Oh, maybe it's on this thing here. Oh, here's, here's the controls. Just underneath the Acer thing, there's got a little indent here. I just can't see what I'm doing. So let's have a look. Let me just get underneath here and have a look. All right, so we've got a menu button on the very left. We've got up and down, enter as the other one, and power button. There it is. And they're physical buttons. That's good. I like physical buttons rather than the touch. I've just always loved physical buttons. That's all. I just feel, wow, that is big. AMD, FreeSync is compatible with that. All right, let's kind of get this thing going, okay? See if this thing can be recognized by this thing. It is big. Uh, display, I might have to re plug it back in. I oh, know. Let's uh, extend this. This is definitely not going to be the exact same. Uh, that is a big monitor. Uh, let's see if I can drag this. Uh, hold a second. Oh, drag this on top. It's easier that way. All right. Oh, I better apply that. Now yeah, we'll look at this. Yeah, that's pretty high. Now, it said it can do 120. So let's go down to, uh, so we've got, yeah, 5120 by 1440 uh, is the resolution. And I'm just going to go down to refresh rate. So it's up, what's it to 100? Uh, there it is, it's 120 hertz. Awesome. Let's keep that one there. Wow, that is a big monitor, isn't it? Interesting. Uh, I don't, this is going to be really nice to play with a lot of other ones as well, too. So, massive, massive. Uh, oh, I wish you want to fire up. How would this look like in a game? Now, let's just find a game that's easy, fast to load. It doesn't take forever to load. Uh, Far Cry. Let's do Far Cry. Might not actually need my details. I'll find out. Let's, let's boot it up. See how it goes. Actually, I also wanted to find out its um, volume. So let me just try to bring out. I have been testing this computer, so it's got a bunch of stuff going through. So let me, whoop, I'm just going to get used to where my mouse is. Let's go to this. This thing has touched. So why not? I just use that. All right. Let's go. Okay, that's what I normally test in. Uh, no, I don't want it coming through here, so let me just pause here. That's coming through the, the, the laptop itself, so I actually want to change that to the monitor. Well, let's try and do it. Oh, yeah. uh, we want the monitor here. S curve. Oh, it is already coming directly from there. Yes to that. Or oh, some updates. How many updates do you want? Ubisoft? All right. So, where's, where's the speakers? Okay, I'm going to bring this really higher. All right. Interesting. I'm not sure if you guys can hear this. Interesting. Give me a second. Let me just see how loud this thing is. Ah, I gotta see how loud this thing is. 
Sorry about Simony. This is not the loudest song I would I you normally test it on. And the other one I normally test it on is uh it's one of those copyright songs anyway, so I that's why I can't really play it. Now I'd say around about 70 decibels. It's on the low end, it's not on high end compared to the Dell monitors that I've been running off. Uh so it is low end. Uh, in terms of volume wise, but as for the quality of the speakers, they're not distorting and like tweety, actually much more down low. Though. Hopefully you guys can heard that through the, the microphones. It's actually much more down low, um, surprisingly. And we've got a bit of uh, what I'll call uh, more reverb uh, for the speakers. Um, so these speakers, uh, they're decent enough, uh, uh, but if you're going to be playing games, you probably will more than likely have headphones anyway. So these will at least do some good sounds uh, for Acer. And I think Acer did very well even for a lot of the laptops, they didn't have much distortion. That's one of the big things that they'll probably concentrate on. So, and on the high end, as you can see, I probably heard the tweeters, like the high end um, frequencies, they're not as strong in this one here. So, and mids are probably about, I would say, I wouldn't say they're super strong neither. I'd say they're about midway, uh, but definitely the bass is much more, much more louder than I was expecting to have anyway. So that's kind of cool. So that's the speakers. Uh, let's put, see if we got the games going through anyway. So let's just bring up something. I was just asking for you to log in. So let me just log in here. Uh, oh, got my caps locks on. That doesn't help. Right, let's see if we can get this thing. I'm wondering. Ah, caps didn't like the caps did. Let me just log into the service and we'll have a look. Ah, skip the two set process. Let's get this going anyway. So, now this has been driven by uh, RTX 3050 discrete graphics. Yeah, I know it's, this thing has the discrete graphics of 3050 in a tablet form. That's amazing, isn't it? I've got to say. <laughs> Let's see if we can get something going. Uh, what is it up to? Come on, do this up. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to try and get to the games. I just want to see how this runs, and I'm hoping. Uh, let's leave this to just do. Well, Far Cry was going to kill this thing, but hey, let's give. I think it's trying to run it already. Come on, here we go. It's bringing up. I don't know if it's going to bring up on this display or it's going to try and bring up on the extended display. We'll find out. We will find out how it goes, uh, but this does have about 400 nits of brightness is what I think it has says. Uh, I will be doing the Gavit test to see what the color coverage is on this, uh, but definitely I am interested to see later on. I will be having a look to see if you can be able to split this, this display the different sections uh, like the Dells. It will um, just to make things easier to organize all the windows that you have because oh, so i think you probably will be way be on one two well you can do four for sure but you might even be able to fit five that's very comfortably uh if you want to actually just do split this into for, for the different ones uh, i think that would be kind of cool where is this where is it coming through i thought i was going to launch a faster game but it looks like it's not launching as fast as i thought it was going to be uh, it's warming up some sort of cache files in a way maybe it's doing update I'll, i'd spend like about probably about a week and a half or so since I've launched this game when I was just doing the benchmarks, but we'll see how it goes anyway. If not, then that's all right. Um, now let's have a look at the menu. Okay, we've got all right. Once this one here is service, I don't think you guys can see it, but I'm going to bring this in closer so you guys can see this thing here. Well, all right, let's see if you guys can see this uh, much down here. Hope you guys will be able to see. Let's have a look at this menu. Uh, that's OSD, so we've got this little button here. Now, what does this do? Okay, it gets to the different inputs. So I've got source. I'm not going to switch the source anyway, so let's go back. So that just gives you input. So that's the different inputs. What's this one here? It's the little man button. Okay, the different um, types of modes. So action, racing, sports, standard eco, graphics. Let's go down one. That's HDR. Let's go down. Let's cross graphics. Okay, I'll take you there. So that's if you're working on. Uh, basically, video editing or photo editing. Oh, we've got the game coming through in a way, but it's all right. Uh, let's go back. Let's bring that up again. Uh, brightness is the third one. Let's go back. 
Let's bring to the last one, which is the menu button. I want to see if you can do picture in picture. All right, we've got uh, blue light. You can turn it on and off. ACM, forgot what ACM is. If anyone remembers what ACM, please tell me what it is. Uh, oh, God. All right, let's bring this menu back up again. HDR sharpness is another option that you can do. Well, let's bring this color. Can we change the color? It's nothing new. Audio, oh, it was only set to 70%. You probably can set it to uh, 100%. percent that will make it much more louder then. I'll do that. I'll do the testing in the uh, proper review in a way. Uh, gaming, again, this has got free sync, so you can actually do that. And aim point, oh, you can actually set these. We, ah, I'm back. For those who actually enjoy doing that, you can actually set an aim point. How cool is that? I don't know. If that's a, uh, let's just tell this computer. Skip. Stop making some sounds. Sorry, let me just bring this volume down. Ah, uh, oh, get the menu back up again. Uh, oh, back up. This aim point is kind of cool. I don't know if that's a normal thing for a lot of gaming monitors. If you do, uh, that'd be nice. Oh, there it goes. Adaptive contrast management. Thanks for that, Aki. All right. Uh, let me bring that menu again. All right. Now let's bring that down. So that's kind of cool to actually see the um, aim point. Now OSD. Let's have a look. English. You got OSD timeout and transparency. OSD lock. That's nothing new. Okay. We've got import audio source. Now hopefully I'm going to hit the book. Uh, wide mode full. What is I see? PBP. But it is grayed out. Let me see if I can get into the enter. Whoa. Um, oh, that's a power button. Let me, sorry, let me just bring this thing back again. Oh, okay, let's bring this. Oh, I've got to get used to these controls. I've got these three controls. Okay, let's bring that in the menu back in. All right, let's go down. Oh, it's D. Nope, we are into this one here. Enter in this way. All right, we've got input. Let's go down, auto source, wide mode. Now let's go into here. What have we got? Aspect, different aspect ratios. Okay. Oh, well, you can change different aspect ratios and stuff like that. So let's go full. I'm going to go back one. Okay, we can't get to B. Uh, I'm taking yes, the other one. Of course, we've got to get another input. I'm going to do that in a moment. Uh, hotkey signings, cool. DDC. CI? I don't know what that is actually. What is that? Does anyone know that? Put it in the comments for me as well, too. Uh, oh, I have to read up on what that is, uh, but that's kind of sweet. Let's go up again. Put back a system. Enter. And we can change the, the blackness level as well, too. And that's, oh, and also quick start mode. Now that's pretty much it. That's pretty much about it. Let's go. Let's go back to information. I'm just going to give you the serial numbers and all stuff and what. Now I'm going to go back. I'm going to go grab another computer. I'm going to plug that computer into the HMI port. Let's see if we can do picture in picture. I'm expecting it to be able to do picture in picture. So let me go get this monitor, this computer. Uh, let's get this computer. All right. We get a HMI cable from back here. Let me go get a HMI cable. Let's plug in the HMI cable. I'm actually seeing if we can do picture in picture. Give me a second here. I'll just plug this baby into HMI one. And this will go into here. HMI cable in here. Excellent. All right. Okay, we've got two computers now running this thing. So let's see if I can bring this thing up. Uh, let's go down to system. Hasn't really got anything yet. Maybe I'll have to, to switch this thing out and in. Let me have a look. Uh, F8. Duplicate. There we go. That's forced. I've just forced the other computer to try and bring us some sort of display through there. So let's have a look if that will bring anything out there. Nothing still. So the BPP, which is usually picture in picture, uh, it's not editing. So it must be a condition that I need to put in um, to it. So I have to explore that off camera. Right? So that's one of the things I've got to look at. But 
But let me bring this thing back again. All right. Well, all right. The game's not running through here. Well, give me a second. Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. Let's up tab. I'm going to go to display and just display only on number two. All right. Let's have a look at what this looks like. Oh, it's big. All right. Let's bring in. This computer. All right, we got game. Let's see if I can go back. Oh, I don't want to escape that. All right, here we go. Let me go to options, uh, video. It's gonna be interesting. Oh, we do have the fresh rate, so it's good to see 120. So that's good. Now this thing here, display resolution is not going to go up high. I'll uh, we'll probably have to re-plug that back in and say, yep, yeah, give me what I needed. All right, let's go custom. We'll probably have to go custom on one of these things here. Now, I'm not a gaming expert, so I don't know all this stuff here that comes through in a way. So, all right, can I get any higher? Uh, I think I might have to re-plug back in. But, hey, let's get an idea of how big this could be. Right, I think this would be very good for, oh, let me bring this thing back up here again. I think this will be very good for flight sims, but I'm going to be more interested in the productivity of it, uh, as I do run quite a lot of charts as well as a lot of windows, uh, separate windows, and especially big spreadsheets. Uh, the video editing is going to be interesting because I like video editing because of big long timelines uh, is what I would use it for. Now, I will probably be using it for a lot of the different windows for the productivity work again. So I'll give it a test to see how that compares with a dual uh, 34 inch monitor. I think it's going to be nice because I've had not, I've, I've noticed something about working on dual 34 inch monitors is that a lot of times when it goes into power saving mode or you blank out the monitor, the browser is actually closed down uh, and then it all goes to the main screen. So that's one of the annoying things I've found from dual 34 inch monitors. And it's running the graphics card quite hard annoying. But let's see how it runs with a single 49 inch. So, uh, oh, here we go. You probably uh, have to turn off FreeSync off. Okay, let me do that. Let me do that. Thank you very much. Let's exit out of this. Uh, all right, let's turn that off. Let's go to down to FreeSync. So and uh, FreeSync I saw in gaming. And let's enter in here. Enter in there. Turn that off. Did that turn off? Oh. I'll just double check if that did turn off or not. Gaming is now off. Awesome. Okay, so let's go down to system. Ah, there you go. You are right. You are right. You're a wonder of information, mate. Enter in. Okay, picture. All right, let's go in here. On and off. Okay, here we go. Picture and picture. Now you can go full. Whoa. I've got to really get used to this thing. Okay, there's uh, for PVP. You've got PVP off. Oh. Off. I want that on. Oh, I haven't really got used to these ones going for different. Oh, here we go. Now that's uh, wakey wakey. What's the, I uh, maybe you should tell it which monitor what input it is. I think yes. Come on. All right, down to system. Enter. Uh, down to oh, that's not what I want. Go back. Uh, let's go down to BBP. Uh, down to aha, uh -huh, you've got subsource. That's what I want to do. Let's go down to here. Change that to HDMI one. Enter. Which one's which? Does that come from? Oh, that went to sleep. That's why. Hopefully that's booted up. There we go. So we got two. Okay, now let's see what kind of modes we got for BBP. All right, down, 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 system. All right, let's go down, enter in. Now, uh, let's go down. You can swap these around if you want. I can see a uh, source swap as well and audio swap as well too. So you can change the volume. Uh, between the different computers, but uh, oh, sorry, I was got a chance to see what kind of modes of we've got it's just to give you a quick demonstration of that. Down, down, 
Ah, enter. So there's full size. That's bit. Does it do anything? Let's have a look what that does. That spit does. Okay. Okay. I take yes. It takes the aspect ratio of each computer. All right. That's what that one does. System. Well, there. Enter in. Let's change aspect full. Oh, there's only two full and aspect. That's the, that's about all there is. All right. Let me go. Ah. Oh, I'm going to go back to full. So really, it's just splitting the two computers. Really. Uh, I think that's the only option. I was going to see if there's a different orientation for this, but it doesn't look like there is another orientation here. Still, that is a very ad there by itself is close to what I would say maybe about a 29 inch monitor by itself. That looks like a 29 inch very freely, nicely. Uh, I would be happily working with that without a bezel in the middle. Um, I would be definitely programming some. Um, Reprogramming, customizing a button here for the picture and picture if you're using that a lot. Let me just try and get into the here. So, into it again. Okay, it's just on and off. There's, that's pretty much it. So, you really only got full screen, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, but yeah, that's just something to have a look at. Um, hopefully, that gives you a little bit. I will do a bit of review for this and as I was test out the thing, but. At the moment, it's a pretty nice monitor, I've got to admit. And as for the bezel-wise, it's pretty much the same as my 34-inch uh, that I have that I'm running, the two 34-inch. They're the exact same amount of bezel uh, on the sides, so not bad. Uh, this is a VA monitor as well, too, so it does have that capability to go quick uh, for the so. Anyway, I hope you find this a little bit useful, and thank you much for those who joined me and for helping me out as well, too. And as always, Imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. And I'll catch you guys in the next video, guys. See you guys. Oh, is it wonderful? Oh, it's so large. <laughs>